Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple, clean, minimal navbar for your web app or website. So I'm going to start here with a grey background and then use this white box to contain the navbar. We're just going to make a quick simple logo here using a blue box with some borders. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We're just going to keep this clean and minimal for the meantime. So I'm just going to keep this really just to a text based logo that will contrast nicely against the white background. So we're going to use a Poppins font here and make that white and then just center it within that box and turn it into a vector. This ideally would be uh, best suited for a web application. Um, we could add another menu to it, but we're just going to go with the, with the header nav for the meantime. Beautiful. So we've got that. We're just going to put it in a box that lines up nicely here with the grid. So I'm just going to copy and paste that background and then extend it to the end of the first column and center that nicely there. And that will be our logo done. Now we're going to start creating the menu items. So every menu item is going to, again, be a box that contains an icon and a text label to tell each user what it means. To keep things nice and consistent here, I'm going to be using a plugin called Icon Font that will allow us to easily insert each icon into the box. And we're going to be using the Ant icons today from the Ant Design Guidelines. So we're just going to throw that in and we're going to increase the size a bit and then center that to the box. Now you don't always need to use a text label alongside the icon, depending on what you're building. For the purposes of this, I'm going to throw in a label on each just to make it that little bit clearer to the user um, what each of these are. So we're just going to make this a Poppins font. We're going to make it slightly smaller than usual to fit nice and easy in that box. We won't worry about whether they're active or inactive at the moment. We'll tackle that shortly. We're just going to pop about five pixel gap between the two of them, center them and group them together so that it's looking sharp. Now, the good thing about this is once we pop it all in a group, we can really just copy and paste that without too much of a drama. So now all I'm going to do is create each of these menu items again quickly. We're going to have one for videos, one for an inbox, another for friends, and one for notifications. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And there's all of our menu navigation items done. So we're just going to select everything except friends, change the opacity there to be 40. We're going to just put a little indicator in this friends box, which is just going to be a rectangle that's 50% of the width and make that the same blue as the logo just to ensure some consistency. And just so a user is aware that they know what tab they're on without having to really look too much. Awesome. So that's done. Now we're going to look to do is begin on um, the user's photo to the right. So we'll just make sure that's looking a bit pixel perfect. This photo on the right isn't going to require too much. We're just going to copy and paste an existing nav link because we want that icon in there. But we will remove that text and extend the box just to hit the end of the grid line there. Turn the opacity back up to 100. So again, using this handy icon font, we're just going to decrease the size of that and we're going to look for a down icon, which we've got here. Turn down the opacity, well not the opacity, we'll change the color because if we turn down the opacity, the photo will be impacted too. Now we just want to vertically align the two of these and give them a little bit of spacing. We'll go 10 pixels. 
Awesome. Now that we've got that in a group, if we just align that to the box, that will be perfect. Now we're going to need to add a real photo here just so that um, users get a sense it's not just a mock up. So I'm going to go in here and just use a photo of myself. Again, just to ensure that's properly aligned. And there is our simple menu bar. 